He's finally proposed. Oh my gosh, congratulations. He's finally gone down on one knee and you've said yes. <laughs> now it's time to plan for your big day. Your wedding day. Here are the advantages of having your big day in summer. And by summer, I'm also covering spring. So summer and spring. Let's talk about these seasons for weddings. my channel to those of you who are here for the very first time welcome and to those of you who are joining me yet again welcome back it's sunny it's beautiful it's hot though today i'm going to be chatting about why i think in fact we're going to be discussing pros and cons of having your big day your beautiful wedding day on summer how about we start with the pros the first pro to having your wedding on a gorgeous summer day Everybody looks delicious, everybody looks amazing, everybody can dress up and appear. And if you want all the guests to come, you're likely to have more guests come on your wedding day when it's summer. Dresses, oh bride, beautiful bride. You're gonna have so many varieties to choose from. You can choose any dress you want knowing that you're going to look good the whole day. Now the con of having your beautiful wedding on a summer's day is that it's hot. It is boiling hot. Wedding dresses have layers and layers and layers. Makeup, hair, a lot's going on with the groom. He's wearing a three-piece suit and maybe he's nervous and his heart is beating like in his throat and he's excited and stuff and all the sweating. Ugh! It's hot. Just be cognizant of that. Pro number two of getting married on a beautiful wedding or, or, or a beautiful summer's day is that chances are the sun's going to set later. In fact, it's a fact. So if you're going to have your wedding on a sunny day, I would suggest that you don't have the couple shoot earlier in the day, like at 12 midday. Don't, don't do that. Wait until the sun sets a bit. It sets later, which means the day is longer. Have it at a darker time because at that point it's going to be more romantic. <laughs> this is coming from a photography perspective. You'll thank me for that tip. Now the con is that chances are it might rain on the day. You're obviously, in most cases, gonna want to have a garden wedding because of how beautiful the weather is. But just remember that there's a chance it could rain, especially if you're having a spring wedding. Right now, I'm putting together spring and summer. Just look at it as almost one and the same thing. Third pro, venues look beautiful. Gardens look green. You have a variety of flowers to pick from. It just looks fresh outside. Now, the con is that a lot of wedding venues are booked, so you need to book well in advance. And another disadvantage is that um, wedding venues are actually more expensive during peak season. In fact, this applies to a lot of the vendors. During peak season, which is usually summer, spring, prices are a bit higher with good reason. So make sure that you book your wedding venue well in advance or your wedding vendors well in advance because, hey, it is what it is. If you want a beautiful wedding on a summer's day, you gotta book early. So that's all from me regarding weddings in summer. Beautiful time to get married, but just make sure that you budget it for it and you do things on time. In the next video, I'm gonna be giving pros and cons on having winter weddings because those are also pretty cool. So stay tuned and I will check you out in the next video. <laughs> Take one. Action. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I see it now. I mean, look at me. I'm in yellow. Okay, listen. Wait. Hey, <laughs> <laughs>